that's not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like, oh, yeah. now how are we going to survive? Yeah. Let's get a news update from Jennifer Tantley, and then, you know, you're going to the news stand. It's KFIA 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. And this satellite is your launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base to help take pictures of the Earth. Those pictures will help farmers and others manage essential resources, including crop irrigation water and forest. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says yesterday's launch of Landsat 9 will also help on a global scale. And of course, uh, Landsat's long-term record of our home planet allows us to track the changes and the impact of climate change. The Landsat program first launched in 1972 to provide free photos to the public and over time has amassed the largest collection of earth satellite -like photos in history. Steve Gregory, KFI News. News is brought to you by Reader Hero Plumbing. A man's been shot in a car to car shooting near downtown LA. The CHP says it happened about 11 last night on the interchange between the 5 and the 10 freeways. The guy who got shot was me to get off the freeway and call 911. CHP says the passenger side window of his car was shot out. He was taken to the hospital. The man who shot President Reagan in 1981 could be a fully free man next year if he stays mentally stable. John Heathley Jr. was let out of the psychiatric hospital in 2016, went to live with his mother. The judge says he will grant Hinkley's unconditional release next June, if all goes smoothly. Hinkley's lawyer, Barry Levine, says his client has done very well and his disease is in full remission. There have been a multitude of uh, risk assessments, and uh, the risk of danger is exceedingly low. The judge says he'll sign off on the claim this week. 12% of people in a new poll say they will not get a COVID-19 vaccine under any circumstance. But ABC's Brian Clark says the rest of the poll shows more people are willing to roll up their sleeves. Roughly 7 in 10 people surveyed in a new Kaiser Family Foundation poll say they've gotten at least a dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. More than a third of those who recently got a shot say the increase in cases due to the Delta variant drove their decision. The poll of about 1,500 people was conducted over the last two weeks. And New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio says his school system is ready to deal with the effects of school employees who don't want to get vaccinated against COVID-19. We have a lot of substitutes, a lot of employees ready to be deployed as needed. So right this minute, we can run the school system effectively with the people we have. A federal appeals panel lifted an order yesterday that had blocked the vaccine mandate for teachers in New York. Teachers in New York City have until Monday to get the shot. We're watching your drive in the IE on the 91. You've got an unusual problem now eastbound. Eastbound 91 and McKinley, that's where we've been used to. It's going to be 1200 before the 15. Once you get through all that, you know, you'll be okay. Westbound morning drive well, it's just a crawl from the 15 to the 71, I hope. That you're used to that and allow for it. Now, Long Beach to LA is in trouble. No 405 to Crenshaw, a very complicated crash involving overturns. Fire department, CHP, post up, we're stuck in the back up the whole routine. 405 back up to Wilmington and the north south 110. North 405 is falling not. Uh, not really good is northbound 110 over to the west 105. It's kind of busy. Long Beach, north 710 to Willow, left lane's open, two rider block, a little slow, but after that, pretty good to East LA. And real quick in Moore Park, it's a tricky spot. 118 at Grimes Canyon, it's going to crash there. It's only a two-lane road. This time in the morning could be tricky. Be careful. AFI in the sky helps you get there faster. I'm Jeff Baugh. Navigating Medicare can simply be overwhelming, which is why I'm suggesting you call AGA Medicare Options. Get educated about all the rules before you make decisions about your Medicare. And believe me, plans change every year, and sometimes dramatically. Let me tell you what AGA is offering. Free dinner and educational Medicare seminar. There'll be no enrollments, and no sales at the seminar, and it's a question of teaching you what's going on. AGA's team of experienced agents will advise you step-by-step -step on a plan that fits your unique situation and budget. And as I said, everybody's different. AGA will help you find plans that are accepted by your physicians, cover your medications at the lowest out-of-pocket cost. The free dinner and seminar, and they're all over Southern California. Dial pound 250 on your cell phone and use the keyword My Medicare. Say My Medicare. Pound 250 on the cell and say My Medicare. Or visit agamedicareoptions.com, agamedicareoptions.com. 
SoCal weather from KFI. It's a sunny Tuesday with highs from the mid-60s at the coast, low to mid-70s for Metro LA and OC, upper 70s for the valleys in the IE, but those inland highs could be back into the low 90s by Thursday. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. Final on the line, Inc. GDA True Mortgage is a fair housing lender. NMLS 1626659. The following example is a 30-year term at 2.625% on a loan amount of 300000 with a 50% LTV. Primary residence only and with a 745 score. Rates are at all-time lows, but you hear a lot of conflicting information about what that means to you exactly. The team at True Mortgage wants to show you how affordable a true loan can actually be and how much it might cost you each month. If you've got a $300,000 loan and you're paying a dime more than 12 50 a month, you must call True Mortgage now at 833-66-Bouncer or go to truenow.com to see what they can do to make your monthly payment more affordable. Twelve fifty per month on a $300,000 loan, it's true, and they can help you get into a super affordable monthly payment and help you immediately. Have a $400,000 loan, nearly add another $400 per month, and so on. It is simple math and an even easier payment, but as Chairman Powell said, rates will go up, so call today. True Mortgage, 833-66-Factor or truenow.com. That's 833-66-Factor or dial pound 250 and use the keyword True Mortgage. Get your daily dose of California with the Times Daily News from the L.A. Times. Join your host, L.A. Times journalist, Gustavo Arellano, as he unpacks our world with a West Coast perspective. Listen and subscribe today at latimes.com slash the Times or wherever you get your podcast. San Manuel Casino is changing its name and changing the game. San Manuel Casino is now Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel. With two new casino floors, now with over 6,500 slots, the most in the West. A new high limit room for five elevated gaming experiences, three luxury retail shops, restaurants and bars, and even more thrills to come. Experience a level of thrill that California has never seen before. San Manuel Casino is now Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Details at Yamaha.com must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. Staples Connect has innovative tools for small businesses. Get up to $160 off select PCs, like the Asus VivoBook laptop with Intel i5 core processor. Explore at your local Staples or staplesconnect.com. And 10 to in store only limited. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to kfiam640.com slash rules. <laughs> KFI AM640. 24-hour news. More stimulating talk. KFI AM640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. It's the Bill Handle Show. Bill will be here at 7. We're doing Handle on News for you. Jennifer Jones Lee and me. And Governor Dreamboat has signed a bill making a vote by mail permanent. Universal vote by mail. Meaning you get sent a ballot in the mail whether you ask for one or not. The Republicans in Sacramento didn't want this to happen. They preferred the system before the pandemic, which is you could get a vote by mail, but you just had to ask for it. And anyway, he signed it, plus 10 other voting-related bills. So uh, your fellow is on a big voting rights tear, Jen. My fellow. My boss. Mm -hmm. Governor Dreamboat. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Look at him. You see him? Oh, he's pretty. Yeah. I should be on the cover of a... GQ mid mid level men's casual wear catalog. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like a judge. What is it? Or LLB. Like you should be on LLB. Oh. Something like that. What is it? A expensive jacket where he's trying to look like one of us. Mm -hmm. But really, I'll always look at him and go, okay, that's a jacket we can never afford, rich guy. Yeah. If somebody ever came out with a clothing line named Empty Shell Clothing, oh. it would be the perfect. Oh, Vapid Fashion. <laughs> and their main spokesmodel, Gavin Newsom. Wow. Oh, please, he's a genius. When, when, you're telling me when Gavin Newsom speaks, the only thing what? people are thinking are like, did he study at Oxford and the Sorbonne? Was he a double world scholar, even though that's not a thing, but they made it special for him because of how brilliant he is? 
and not answer. I'm tweeting the fit. You can you can exempt yourself from what's happening right now on this show. So awkward. Right? Look, seize the moment in this moment. Oh yeah, it is a moment to go on to the next story. Moment. <laughs> moment. Karen Bass wants to seize the moment and become the next mayor of L.A. She's the California Congresswoman from L.A. That is her sixth term. She also heads up the Black Caucus. She was Speaker of the California Assembly. I mean, she's got the cred. If she wins, Bass would be the first woman to be mayor of L.A. Oh. All right. I mean, look, if you're looking for qualifications, she qualifies quite nicely. Well, she was on the short list, too, of rumored picks for VP uh -huh. for President uh -huh. Biden. Yeah. All right, so how many people are running now? 147? Yeah. <laughs> what are you throwing your hat in? What the hell? Why not? What are you doing? You know what you don't do. This is the difference, one of the differences between me and Karen Bass or a Mike Fuhrer or a Joe Buscay or any of them. Else. I think they really do sincerely think they can fix things here. I know that. <laughs> Why go for a job at which you are certain to fix? Okay, look, the family attorney for the laundry family wants you to know that the parents don't know where Brian is. They don't know. They didn't help him. They don't know. They're very concerned about him. They hope the FBI can find him as soon as possible. All right? So back off your crazy podcast theory that they lied to the authorities and said that uh, Brian Laundry went into the Carlton Reserve when he never had any intention of going there, and that gave everybody um, a wild goose chase to follow while Brian Laundry slipped away to wherever he is now hiding and cackling. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with this story. It's just a judicial question. Has anybody ever lied to their attorney? Oh, God, yes. Holy guacamole, yes. Oh, they lie to their attorneys all the time. Period. It's really, it's really, if you, if you can catch uh, an attorney in an unguarded moment, you will learn that is one of the biggest peeves and problems they face is when they cannot even trust their own clients. L.A. County DA George Gascon says he'll be dismissing more than 50,000, almost 60,000 pot-related convictions. Here with Gaston, he said he thinks the move will help people who are still facing hurdles from being convicted. Oh, uh, you know, employment. So that's what he said. That's what he hopes that that will help everything. Help them. Now he, he did admit that it's going to take a long time for all of these convictions to go up and smoke. <sighs> he also says uh, that all the convictions are going to be sealed. You know that the last one to run completely released. It's not. Uh, it's not fully achieved unless you feel the record. So I'm very excited that we are actually going one step further. He's not going all the way, though. Are they not, are they not expunging these? They're just dismissing them? Dismissing them and feeling them. Yeah, it's not enough. I can tell you right now. Any of these people, God forbid, they pick up a federal seat somewhere, uh, that conviction's going to be used against them. Why did he just expunge them all? Now, it could be, maybe he needs... He needs judges involved for full expungement, and he has, he just wants to do what he can do unilaterally through his office. But I would I would I hate to be a contrarian here, but he's not going far enough. I mean, you want these things completely expunged so that not only are they sealed and uh, nobody's going to see them, although that's a lot. We saw them all the time. It's uh, when you say we seal it, it doesn't mean cops don't see it, courts don't see it, right? And you want it expunged so that, as a matter of law, nobody can use it against him. So he's not that good. Thank God. Uh, the DEA has issued a rare public safety alert. I think the last time they did something like this was over six years ago. Warning you that if you buy fake prescription medication, it could contain fentanyl 
including deadly amounts of fentanyl. And they have been, of course, keeping track of this as they seize these counterfeit pills. And I know a spokeswoman said yesterday, two out of five pills have a deadly amount of fentanyl in them now. We're talking about the counterfeit stuff, not the, not the legit. So just don't buy counterfeit, you know, don't do it. This doesn't have the L.A. portion in this one, but I read this morning that the DEA says that fentanyl-laced fake pills mm -hmm. are becoming such a problem that they predict three-quarters of all drug-related deaths this year in L.A. will happen because of those fake pills. Oh, holy smokes. Last year, I didn't know this, more than half of them happened. Mm -hmm. because of the fake pills in drug-related death. Let's get a news update from Jennifer Jones Lee and then finish Handle on the News. It's KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. COVID-19 vaccine for younger kids could become closer to a reality today. Pfizer submitted initial trial data from kids 5 to 11 to federal regulators and says plans put in a formal request for an emergency use in the next few weeks. Well, the government's running out of time to prevent a shutdown. Senate so Republicans blocked the bill yesterday. They only want to vote on extending funding, not to raise the debt limit. And probably if you're a fan of Bridgerton, this is not going to be any big surprise to you. The Netflix hit is apparently the streaming giant's most watched TV show ever. Season 1 had 82 million viewers in its first 28 days. We'll take a look at your drive with VKFI in the Sky and the 710 next. Termites love Southern California, and there are two kinds of termite seasons here. One, well, it's here all year long, and two, it's really termite season, and that's what's going on right now. If you see those little bugs flying around or what looks like small pieces of sawdust on the floor, termites, and I'm going to suggest you call Pacific Coast Termite for a free home inspection. Now, certain restrictions apply. When you use Pacific Coast Termite, no tenting, no double bagging your food, no pet sitting. I've tempted before, it is a nightmare, you do not want to go there. You can actually be home while Pacific Coast Termite does its work. Try doing that with a tent over your house. Mention KFI, get 10% off for my treatments, two-year guarantee on their work. Call 800-PACIFIC, 800-PACIFIC, visit PacificCoastTermite.com. Pacific Coast Termite, kill termite. The clean, friendly way. Staples Connect has innovative tools for small businesses. Get up to $160 off select PCs, like the AC Spiegel Book Laptop with Intel i5 core processor. Explore at your local Staples or staplesconnect.com. And 10 2 in store only limited. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. So, got weather from KFI, mostly sunny with highs upper 60s at the beaches to low 80s inland. This report is brought to you by your Staples store. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. It has not been easy at all on the 710 this morning. Boy, well put, Jennifer. Good morning to you. Now, if you just joined us, uh, leaving the city of Long Beach, kind of like yesterday morning, but uh, North on 710 before Willow this time, before the 405. Did another fatal crash. Uh, one is too many, but we've had way too many fatal crashes. But left lane is open now of the freeway, so it's not uh, too bad getting through. At least you can. Two right of block, left lane open, and it's starting to load up. Uh, you guys just come away from uh, a seven. It's a little slow. But north of that, things are pretty good. Now, the other big problem getting through L.A. County right now is Long Beach to LAX. North Wall 5 at Crenshaw having an overturned car so involved. There was a left lane, carpool lanes, all lanes. The bottom line is back up north of Alameda, leading the 710. Now, if you want to use north 710 from the 405 up to the west 91, it's slow, especially our Caesar Boulevard where the freeway ends, but uh, it's your pick at this point. Let's get past Central. Finally, things are good to LAX. I'll follow up on this for you quickly, but the Porter Ranch in the news here, but 118 in Reseda, a lot of activity on the overpass. I'll see what's going on. Don't go away. Terrifying the sky. Help you get there faster. I'm Jeff Baugh. This report is sponsored by L.A. County Department of Public Health. Now, smell, ear infections, and sudden infant death syndrome. This is how secondhand smoke can affect your baby. It can get into your apartment through vents, windows, and more. Learn how to protect your home at SmokeFreeHomesLA.com. Brought to you by the L.A. County Department of Public Health. So, you love the solar panels. I write Valentine's Day cards to my solar panels even when it's not Valentine's Day. Next to be together. 
together? Absolutely. Solar Max has a brand new offer as well. They have the new Tesla 420 panels and power walls for $79.96 per month and zero down. Call pound 250 from your cell phone. Say that keyword Solar Max. Pound 250. Say Solar Max or go to Solar Max Tech. Com. Monthly payment available on proof credit, CSLB number 972048. The Delta variant is making COVID-19 spread faster and more easily. Variants can be more contagious, aggressive, and deadly. But we know vaccines <laughs> have greater against serious illness, hospitalization, and death. We can help stop the spread and end this pandemic. Get vaccinated and wear a mask when it can protect you and others. Find a vaccine near you at www.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Be on its way and gone. Missed out on your first opportunity to score a World Series replica ring? Now's your chance. Join us Thursday, September 30th, as the Dodgers take on the contract and bring home your own piece of history. Backed by popular demand, the first 30,000 dollars in the tennis will achieve a 2020 World Series replica ring. Could it be a Bank of America? Get your piece today as you won't want to miss the giveaway. The first is the Dodgers.com slash tickets. Most mortgage lenders charge a fee, sometimes up to a point and a half for pulling cash out of your home oh, equity. So yeah. catch on your whole loan balance, not just the cash you get. For example, if your loan amount is $400,000, that's a $6,000 fee. For a limited time, owning will waive this fee, so qualified borrowers can get a cash out refund with absolutely no closing costs of any kind. Besides the usual no title, escrow, appraisal, etc., no fee for a cash out on a 30-year fixed mortgage. So if you're in process somewhere and pain free, call 8332 owning or go to owning.com where our rate and APR for a no cash out fee 30 year fixed mortgage is 2.875%. But hurry, the mortgage industry won't like this. So who knows when this special goes away? Call 8332 owning or go to owning.com. NMLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation and the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. Subject to credit approval. Call 833-303-2160 for terms and conditions. Equal housing lender. For COVID testing that is convenient and fast, choose COVID Clinic. COVID Clinic has multiple locations in SoCal to serve you, and they offer rapid tests with results available within one hour that can detect the Delta variant. No cost to patient testing also available. Even if you've been vaccinated, you can still contract COVID. It's important to get tested to protect yourself and your friends during the holidays and winter months. Visit covidclinic.org to book your test now. That's covidclinic.org. Well, you've heard me talk about my friends at Sunday and how they can sell your home fast without any repairs, without the hassle of dealing with showing, realtors, cleaning, or making upgrades. Now Sunday has made the process even easier for those who want to sell a property fast. Contact Sunday for your free no-obligation cash offer. They're going to visit your property, take photos, and do a 3D walkthrough. They'll package your property details and send it to the thousands of local investors in their database who are actively looking to buy property. The average homeowner receives 12 offers on their property. It's quick and easy. Plus, you can close in as little as 10 days or they have the flexibility to close in months. They can even give you a $20,000 cash advance, which will help with moving costs when you sell a Sunday. Go to Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E.com, or phone them, 825 offer. Get a free no-obligation cash offer at Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E.com. Sunday is California licensed real estate broker at DRE license number 0208298. Gavin Newsom's re-election would be next year if he chooses to run again, and we all know he will because of his ego, but Republicans have now a better idea about what they're up against. How Democrats are going to label which Every person runs as the head of the Republican ticket. Gary and Shannon. By right. labeling whoever is a Republican as a Trumpist. Weekdays at 10 a.m. on KFI. This much like uh, the Melvin, and by that I mean slow and sloggy. It, I want to say the radio version was different. Maybe. Anyway, it's uh, KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. It's the Bill Handel Show. Bill, getting ready to take over this microphone in a few minutes. 
So let's finish up handle on the news. Jennifer Jones leaves. Me. All right, so we're in the middle now of our first actual trial in the college admissions scam. And a lot of people keep saying, wait a minute, what about Lori Loughlin? And what about everybody else who was involved? They, those were admissions of guilt, so we didn't go through these kinds of trials. This is the actual first trial. And you had a former assistant women's soccer coach at USC who testified yesterday that she regularly created fake athletic profiles and exaggerated the accomplishments of these students coupled with images that she found on Google <laughs> to help get these unqualified students admitted. Yeah. It was a, it was a, it wasn't a once in a while situation. Oh, no. This was Regular. business as usual over there, apparently. Yeah. Oh boy, so fraternities at Northwestern University are on hold after allegations that um, some students were non-consensually drugged during gatherings at a couple of the frat houses. Here we go again with that. R. Kelly, I think not a surprise for a lot of people, is now facing life in prison for racketeering and sex trafficking. He was convicted yesterday on all nine counts following two days of jury deliberations. Gloria Allred represented three of the women, and she claims R. Kelly is the worst predator that she has ever encountered. He used the power of his celebrity to recruit vulnerable, underage girls for the purpose of sexually abusing them. Now, he still got those charges in Illinois and Minnesota, and those are federal, correct? I think he's got a mixture of pending cases. Yeah, he's got another pending federal case and he's got two. I think the deal is he's got one more federal case and two more state cases. So um, the Illinois. I think he's got a federal case in Cook County and a state case in Cook County. And then he's got that thing in Minnesota. Although it's, it's uh, difficult unless you want to dedicate your entire life to it. It's a little difficult to uh, keep track of all this young man's various legal problems. I mean, you only need convictions on any one of these anyway for him to go away. Maybe at this point for the... How old is he? 50. Yeah, I, there's a good chance even just from this case alone he will die in prison. Not that I'm opposed to piling on. 54. Like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, Britney Spears' lawyer, man, she made the right choice hiring this Matthew Rosengard. He now is on the attack against Jamie Spears, talking about unfathomable lines being crossed, specifically this amazing but heavily intrusive and probably illegal surveillance apparatus that they had going on Britney Spears including things like, and I'm not going to read all of the different allegations, but there's a lot of different allegations, but some of the more, I think, troubling ones, that all of her phone activity was monitored using a mirrored iPad, that all of her movements were shared in real time in group text that included the head of Black Box Security, somebody from TriStar Sports and Entertainment, that's because they handle Britney Spears' business stuff, and Jamie Spears' and that they put an audio recording device in her bedroom and even at sometimes captured attorney-client conversations. And that's about a third. What I just went through is about a third of the allegations against Jamie Spears at all. You know, some of these, um, those are the big ones, and then there were some of these little ones that... They claim that her spending was so tightly monitored that she had to sneak things like sushi and a pair of sketchers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not talking items that are thousands of dollars. Right. I mean, that, if this comes, it, it seems this to be true. I think that Britney Spears gave the world enough to justify a conservatorship at the time. With the time when she shaved her head. Yeah, and also, and, and I'm not saying definitely there's no argument against putting her under concern. I'm saying, though, if you're inclined, you know, it's not outrageous. And then I think the people involved are like, what a sweet deal. She generates a ton of wealth, and we can control everything. And part of what you have to do if you're going to do that is you have to control the person. 
And what do you do with a person who is at least a lot of the time, if not all the time, relatively high functioning? Yeah. If you have someone who's truly incapable of making decisions and everything, they're also not going to be hard to control. But somebody who is, so it's just it's looking worse and worse and worse. But I also think this conservatorship is going to be ended pretty soon. Because even Jamie Spears now has filed a thing that said, yeah, you think she doesn't need it anymore, that's fine by me. He made enough money. You know, he got in, and he'll get out, and he'll have a pile of money that he made over this. <laughs> Let's get Bill Handel in here on the Bill Handel Show. It's KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Ignorance is bliss. We have zero bliss. Completely blissless. KFI. KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Huge agreement. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. SoCal Gas and its parent company have agreed to pay $1.8 billion to more than 35,000 people affected by a gas leak in Aliso Canyon in 2015. Attorney Raymond Boucher says two retired judges will figure out the people who will be compensated. Everyone had to fill out what's called a questionnaire under penalty of perjury of what impact the blowout had upon them. Those judges will evaluate each and every questionnaire and then do an individual analysis and assessment of the damages. The settlement was announced yesterday and the money is expected to be sent out within a year. News is brought to you by OPO Law. L.A. County D.A. George Gascone says he's getting ready to dismiss thousands of Mary Jane-related convictions. Gascone says his office has identified around 58,000 pop-related cases dating back three decades that are eligible for dismissal. We're not only sponging the criminal records, but we're, more importantly, we're stealing the records. He says while 66,000 pop-related convictions were thrown out last year in L.A. County following the passing of a state bill, those were cases investigated by the state. The cases being discussed yesterday were from a further look into L.A. County court records. Blake Trolley, KFI News. The DEA says fentanyl-laced fake pills are becoming such a problem that three-quarters of all drug-related deaths this year in the L.A. area will happen because of them. Where we're seeing all the damage with these drugs is through deception. Drug dealers pretending that they're selling legitimate pharmaceutical drugs when in reality it has no pharmaceutical ingredient in it, it's just fentanyl. The agency's Bill Bodner says the fake pills are made and shipped from Mexico and are mostly purchased online and through social media. Bodner says more than half of all deaths last year happened because of the fake pills. Pfizer has submitted initial trial data of its COVID-19 vaccine for kids aged 5 to 11 to federal regulators. The company says it plans to make a formal request for emergency use of the vaccine in the coming week. Doses are already authorized for kids 12 to 15 and are fully approved for everyone over 16. The FBI says there was a major increase in murders last year. A report by the agency says there were more than 21,000 murders in 2020, which is up from 16,000 in 2019. Reports of violent crime, including rape and assault, also increased last year. Lawmakers in Congress are working to avoid a government shutdown. Republicans in the Senate blocked a bill yesterday that would have extended the spending limit. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says it was the right decision. Democrats have steered our country straight into a storm of serious crises, all of their own making. But Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says Republicans aren't thinking of the impacts of a shutdown. Six million jobs lost, 9% unemployment. 15 trillion in squandered household wealth. Lawmakers have a Thursday deadline to pass a bill to fund the government. A report that found a six-year-old girl who fell to her death on an amusement park ride in Colorado was not strapped in. The report says two operators failed to notice the girl was sitting on top of two buckled seat belts when she got on the ride earlier this month. They even thought a warning on the ride's control system was wrong and cleared the alert, which allowed the ride to go. The Haunted Mine Drop is a free fall drop of a, down a black, uh, pitch black shaft. And Oreo has another limited edition cookie, but this one is not about flavor. Nabisco's Pokemon-themed Oreo cookies are all about the packaging. They taste the same as regular Oreos, but 16 of the game's popular characters are stamped on the cookies instead of the Oreo logo. And just like the game, some characters are harder to find than others. Cookies have made their way onto eBay, where sealed packages have been priced in the tens of thousands of dollars. Individual cookies can go for hundreds of dollars, but the rarest character, just like in the game, would be the Pokemon Mew. 
single cookies with Mew on them have been listed at twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars, and apparently hundreds have been sold. Michael Crozier, KFI News. Let's take a look at your drive on the 118. All right, no Mews, but if you were with us last time around here, I promised to follow up on this. Around Porter Ranch, Granada Hills. It's actually the 118, a little bit closer to Balboa is the info we're getting, but it was somebody on an overpass or something, it was a little police activity. East and west 118, a little slow going through, but I, I think you're going to be okay. Uh, the drive Calabasas to Encino got a little complicated, though, with something going on, but eastbound 101 around in White Oak, there's been a stall report. So a little slow from Tampa, and it stays that way to the 405. Torrance still a big problem. Gosh, if you just joined us, this happened about an hour and a half ago, believe it or not. North 405 at Crenshaw, a lot of lanes blocked the whole thing. At one time, it was an overturn. Uh, North 405 stops just past the 710. Going up to the West 91, I just want to warn you, it's real slow. 710, 110 to Artesia Boulevard, but maybe a little bit better for you, better for the mine. And real slow coming out of Long Beach, North 710 before Willow. Still just the left lane open after that morning drive slow up to East L.A. My goodness. KFI in the sky helps you get there faster. I'm Jeff Barr. If you're uh, looking to bail out of your house, it doesn't matter what the reason is. Uh, let's say you're going to move, get out of Dodge, or you're downsizing, or you have financial issues, and you have to uh, leave your house, or maybe you inherited uh, a home. Now what do you do with it? Well, typically you contact a real estate agent who lists the house at 6% and then tells you about cleaning and painting and repairing. And how about doing it a totally different way? A fair price without any of that hassle. The buyer never walks through your house. No appraisal. No commissions. What do you think that's going to save you? And uh, you can get paid in cash and fast. Ten days or less. That's what directbuyers.com does. That's how they do business. It's a local family-owned business around since 1986. The owner, Janet and Matt. Uh, I like the way that they do business. We have spent hours and hours talking about their business model. There are lots of schmucks out there. Uh, these folks are not. They'll give you an honest, no obligation offer. They can even get you a $15,000 cash advance before closing to help with your move. And here is the part that I so admire about them. They will not lowball you and the other companies do. Go, go to directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com. Call 844-242-SELL, 844-242-SELL, directbuyers.com. You're tired of your car. You want something new, and you want it now. No problem. Roto has your back. That's R-O-D-O. Sell your old car and get into a new one right from the comfort of your couch. Use the Roto app to browse thousands of vehicles from local dealers for the best deal on the wheels you really want. Roto, the fastest, easiest way to buy or sell a car. Download the Roto app now or check out Roto.com. That's R-O-D-O.com. Your KFI Financial Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is down 331, S&P down 56, NASDAQ down 276, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $4.40. Bay Alarm Advanced Video Security proactively protects your property, stopping crime before it starts. Sunny today with highs mid-60s at the coast, low to mid-70s for Orange County and Metro L.A. We'll just be in the upper 70s for the valleys in the IE, but those inland highs should be back around 90 by the end of the week. Right now it's 65 in Brea, 61 in Laguna Niguel, 64 in Baldwin Park, 67 in Mission Hills. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. Bill Handel here. It is a uh, Tuesday, September 28th, as uh, we start the show, or at least my portion of the show, at the Handel on the News. Uh, Wayne uh, anchors that, and that's going to stop uh, by next week, where I'll uh, be back at 6 to 10 for the entire show. Quick hello, Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, Wayne and uh, Alex and Tyler and uh, Misty. We have a lovely Misty who is training uh, to, uh, as a show and producer, and uh, she screens for handle on the law Tuesdays and Thursdays, which, Thursdays, which I'm going to be doing today, uh, and uh, Saturdays she screens. So the Meshpucha has arrived. Uh, big stories that we're covering. R. Kelly, guilty of racketeering, bribery, sex, exploitation of a child, uh, sex, sex, sex trafficking. Uh -huh. 
Uh, he well, he's been in jail for a couple of years, but he's going to be decades in uh, prison. Now, uh, he makes a lot of money, and while he's in prison, he's going to make even more. For example, he's going to save on restaurants. There won't be much to pay in that regard. So his entertainment budget is going to be somewhat uh, limited, except for his uh, cellmate. There'll be plenty of entertainment there. He's a big guy, though, isn't he? Yeah, yeah I mean, he, they're going to leave him alone, uh, I think. He is, he is a big, strapping guy. Uh, so uh, I don't think uh, he's going to have a lot of problems. All right. A uh, lot going on. Uh, yesterday I did uh, a uh, U.S. homicide up nearly 30% uh, last year. Uh, the biggest jump ever, ever. Uh, talk about uh, the only thing that statistically, scientifically, uh, is the most worth for this uh, on the street. All the rest of it, the social program, the de-escalation, the bringing people out. Uh, on the street, thing to do. And that's where the evidence lies. Uh, uh, now, uh, LA Public Schools, uh, LA Unified, uh, again, is uh, this is the poster child. Learning is going to in the school district. And as you know, uh, I am a graduate of uh, LA Public Schools, and I'm actually literate, uh, which in many cases is uh, not the case for a whole bunch of reasons. Not necessarily, you're a supervisor, not just being tired, but a graduate.